Should you be worried about your babies drinking bath water? So that depends on the age of the child, how much water they drink, and what type of water they're drinking. I'm Dr. Inkirika, a pediatrician and pediatric emergency medicine doctor. And today we're gonna to talk about babies drinking bath water, what did you watch out for, and how you can avoid it, and what to do if your child drinks excessive bath water. So when it comes to age, younger than six months we're more concerned about versus those who are older. So babies younger than six months of age are very delicate. Their kidneys and other organs are still developing. So in that scenario, they're very prone to water intoxication. So water intoxication is rare, but it occurs when babies or even kids drink excessive amounts of water, and this can dilute what we call their body electrolytes and make their bodies not function as much as they're supposed to. In some scenarios, babies can have seizures from this. So when they are younger than six months or kids even younger than one, we're more concerned about them drinking bath water compared to the older kids. And this is also one of the reasons why we usually recommend that babies younger than six months don't necessarily get extra water outside the one used to mix formula because we're concerned about the amount of water they're drinking. So what amount of water should you be concerned about. So first of all, babies love bath. They love to soak in it. They love to sit in there. And it's not uncommon. It's not unusual for a few sips of water to get into their mouth and they lick it. And that's totally okay. But if your child is actively scooping cups of water to drink, then it might be a little bit concerned, especially if it's not just clean water. It's water that has soapy water. And now we're going to talk about the type of water or the type of bath water you should be concerned about, especially if it's huge volumes. When it comes to type of water, drinking a few sips of clean water is unlikely to make your child sick. I mean, especially if it's a clean bath that's been recently washed. Drinking soapy water, on the other hand, may make your child have a stomach upset and actually in some cases throw up. And this also depends on the volume. A few sips should be fine, but higher volumes, we may be concerned about stomach upset. And the reason is different soaps and different shampoos may contain some chemicals, which may be a little bit irritating to them, or in some cases, depending on what type of soap, may actually be toxic to them. So in those cases, we want to make sure babies are not drinking more than a few sips of bath soapy water. So what can you do to avoid or prevent your children from drinking excessive amount of bath water? So one of the main things you can do, especially also for safety, is you want to make sure you have everything ready before you put them in for a bath. And this makes you be within arm's length of them. So if anything happens, you can redirect them and actually encourage them not to drink more. Two, you can keep your water volumes really low. So in that scenario, they're not worried about the water getting all the way up to their faces or all the way even up to their necks. And that way that can prevent them or make them be more likely not to drink bath water. You can also redirect them with bath toys. Babies who have things they are actively playing with are less likely to scoop water and drink. So putting toys and strainers in during a bath can actually distract them and keep them active in that way while you give them a bath. So what do you do if your child drinks bath water? Fortunately, most cases are mild and babies do great because they are more likely to drink just a little bit of sips than actual huge cups of water. So they do great and need nothing else. If your child drinks soapy water or water that contains a huge amount of shampoo, you can call your pediatrician or call their doctor or you can also call poison control and they might be able to direct you. If your child drinks a small amount of water and they're still acting like their usual self, it's probably okay to observe them at home after you spoke with your regular pediatrician and you can watch out for signs of stomach upset, things like vomiting, belly pain, loose stools, and these are reasons why you may have to take them in to be seen. And of course, if your child is actively submerged inside water and maybe close to drowning or actually drown, you definitely want to call help and get them seen immediately. Of course, if your child accidentally submerged inside water and comes up actively coughing or persistently coughing, you want to call their regular physician or better yet, you might want to take them to the nearest emergency room for them to get a full evaluation. Also, I want you to remember babies and children can drown in as small as one to two inches of water. So you never want to leave a child unattended while in the bath. And that's one of the reasons we always recommend make sure you have everything ready before you put them in a bath because it just takes a quick second before a child might be having fun and accidentally submerges inside water. So is bath water unsafe for babies? Not necessarily. It's okay for a baby to take a few sips of bath water, which might be unavoidable, but you just want to make sure you're keeping a close eye. For those who drink soapy water, Water, you may expect them to have some stomach upset, which you definitely watch them for and know when to see your pediatrician for. 